a second. There are several methods to set the tension of your banjo. This one isn't the best, but it's awesome. Guitars and banjos have one thing in common. They both have some stuff that needs to be stretched until they work properly. But how much? Well, the answer in both cases is until it sounds right. Let's take a look at the equation of the vibrating string. It's in Wikipedia. <laughs> the frequency of vibration only depends on three things. The tension, which is usually how the free length of the string, that's how you get different notes in the fretboard, and the linear density. It's kind of the inertia of the string that the wave travels through. So if you tension a guitar string until it sounds right, the same should apply to the banjo, right? Our only input is the pressure that the manufacturer is recommending us to, to tension the blade. Now, to get a value of tension, of force, we will just multiply that pressure by the cross-section of the blade. In this case, the manufacturer recommends around 15,000 psi or 100 megapascal. We multiply that by the cross-section of the blade in the weakest point. I mean, this CAD model just for fun, because that's how I have the fun. And my tension value is uh, 140 newtons. Now, about the free length. That's just the distance between the center of the wheels. It will change a bit during the tensioning, but that's fine. And what about the linear density? Just take a scale and weigh your blade. Mine is 22 grams, and the length, according to the package, is 1425 millimeters. Do the magic, and you get a frequency. And that frequency is 120 hertz. That's like a B, I think. Now you just take your smartphone and use a guitar tuner app or anything that is able to read frequencies and just tighten the banjo until you get your frequency right. After that it's just a matter of adjusting your variance and you're good to go. Now this method is probably inaccurate, but it doesn't require fancy equipment to give you an idea of how well you're doing, and also it's based on simple magnitudes. Then it's just a matter of how precise you are at measuring them. I hope you liked it and test it and let me know what you think. Okay.